Are you looking to retire and possibly choose Arizona to spend your golden years? Are you confused about what types of 55 plus communities are located in Arizona? Are you overwhelmed by the options? Well, in this video, I'm gonna share what I believe are the top five 55 plus communities in the Valley. Stay tuned. Hey, it's Ryan Meeks with the Escape to Arizona YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. If you're looking for more information on moving to the Valley, then you've come to the right place. Please take a moment to subscribe as I put out one to two useful videos per week. And if you have questions about relocating here, my info is right here. Also, I'll have a link to all the current homes for sale in the communities I mentioned down in the description. So feel free to browse for any resale listings on my website. Arizona is only second to Florida in terms of retirees moving here, and that's because there's a wide range of choices. A few less expensive options are to purchase an RV and sit in an RV park and just lease or rent the land. You can also purchase a mobile or manufactured home within a community and lease the land there as well. And some manufactured homes, you actually own the land. In the communities where you don't own the land, and if you go to sell this mobile or manufactured home that sits on the lease land, you don't typically have any appreciation, only the landlord does for the land. So that's one downfall of living in a mobile or a manufactured community. There are also some other areas like Leisure World or Sun Lakes. And these are a bit older as most were built in the 70s and they do have single family homes, but they may need some TLC upon moving in. Now Sun Lakes does have some slightly newer homes and it's a great retirement destination, but it didn't quite make our list of top five. But I do have some listings as well for Sun Lakes down below if you wanna browse those listings as it's a great option. So there are newer master plan communities that have been built within the last 10 years and they're currently being built and that's what we're going to focus on in this video. In this video we're going to compare the five best 55 plus communities that offer these new builds and these really go above and beyond when it comes to resort style living. Coming in at number five is Encore at Eastmark. This is located just within Arizona's best-selling community, East Mark in East Mesa. The neighborhood is being built by Taylor Morrison, which is a national builder, and it's gonna feature just under 1,000 homes when it's complete. Encore started building in 2015, so it's a pretty mature community in some areas. It features a clubhouse where the socializing and events will take place. And outside of this clubhouse, Encore offers a resort-style heated pool, a hot tub, some tennis courts, bocce ball courts, and pickleball courts. The Encore Club inside features a movement studio, a fitness center, a billiards room, a library, a multi-purpose room with an event lawn, arts and crafts room, and a cafe. This cafe serves food and drinks, and I'm told it only serves alcohol until 2 p.m. I don't know what's up with that. Pool and the spa make for a great way to enjoy the Arizona weather. And an outdoor patio with fire pits is a great place to catch up with friends and neighbors during the mild winter months we have in Arizona. Now the event lawn is gonna make it easy to host guests on the community grounds. And this is also where the HOA hosts a variety of community events. The reason it made number five on our list is because of the location. It's a bit far from shopping and restaurants. There's really only one restaurant nearby and the others are about a six mile drive. There's only one grocery store nearby and that's Safeway, which is about a six minute drive. Now, I don't know about your personal diet, but our family doesn't shop too much at Safeway. We like to eat a bit more organic and choose a little bit more of the organic items. So we shop at Sprouts. The nearest Sprouts is about a 15 minute drive, about seven miles away. I have a video on Sprouts, if you're not familiar with it, right here. Now, if you're younger and have a family, I don't think this would be a bad drive, but enjoying life in your golden years is really all about convenience. It's a beautiful community, but I just wish they had some more retail, grocery shopping, and restaurants and bars just a little bit closer. On the bright side, there is some plans for future retail development nearby, next door in the community cadence. So hopefully we'll hear about some retail restaurants and grocery stores coming here soon. Now, most of the 55 plus communities start with a two bed, two bath option and an encore, they start in the 300s. These are gonna be about 14 to 1500 square feet with plans that go as high as just under 3000 square feet, probably around 2700, 2800 square feet. These are all one story homes, so no more stairs. 
Encore is super cool. It's really a beautiful community. Like I said, I just wish they had a restaurant on site like a lot of the other 55 plus communities or even a restaurant nearby where you could take a quick golf cart trip to. One of the things my clients tell me they're looking for, you know, is, is that these communities have a restaurant or a bar or a juice bar or something to promote some social interaction, um, just a place to go to kind of hang out. And that's really what the clubhouse is all about. But, you know, having a restaurant, a place to eat, um, come together and socialize really makes a big difference. So number four on our list and very similar to Encore at Eastmark is Meridian's Ovation. Ovation at Meridian is the specific name for it. And it's another Taylor Morrison community. And uh, as you can see, this community is a uh, Another Taylor Morrison community. This Taylor guy has a lock on the 55 plus communities, I'm telling you. Ovation and Encore, very similar. And the reason why I gave uh, Ovation the nod over Encore is because it sits in Queen Creek, a little bit further south than Encore. So it's closer to downtown Queen Creek for retail and grocery shopping. And there's a variety of bars and restaurants located in downtown Queen Creek. Home prices here are a little less expensive than Encore too, and that's always a plus. The community is about three years old, so it's not as mature as Encore, but it's getting there. Ovation will be a bit smaller than Encore. It's gonna have just under uh, 800 homes, but unlike Encore, it is gated to keep the riffraff out. The big draw here is the uh, 13,500 square foot clubhouse, very similar to Encore's clubhouse. And this sits at the entrance of the community. And inside this clubhouse, there's definitely a lot of areas for the homeowners to gather. There's an exercise room with a yoga studio, a craft room, there's a banquet hall, there's a billiards room, and there's a central place to congregate right when you walk through the doors too. Neighbors can spend time enjoying the clubhouse's outdoor patios, fire pit, the pool, the spa. Near the pool, there's a shade pavilion with a bar and a barbecue area. And these amenities along with the event lawn are really what make it an ideal community once again for gathering parties and the HOA community activities. Let's just hope the residents can agree on what to put on the one TV that hangs in the outdoor pavilion. Other outdoor amenities here include two bocce ball courts, four pickleball courts, two tennis courts, some walking and biking trails, it's got a dog park and several smaller parks and natural green spaces. And while I was kind of cruising through the neighborhood, I did notice a very cool putting green. And uh, I thought that was really unique right behind the homes within the walking trails. Being in Ovation or the previous community Encore at Eastmark, homeowners have access to the under 55 communities that they're within as well. Both of these communities offer a lot for their residents, including public pools, hangouts, and beautiful parks. Eastmark does provide a bit more for its residents, and if you're looking to learn more about Eastmark, check out my video on it. Another thing I want to mention, and it's pretty important because I get a lot of 55-year-old clients or above that are looking to move to Queen Creek, um, Ovation is the only 55-plus community located in Queen Creek. So if you're looking to stay within that area, that's going to be your best bet. And I'll have a forthcoming video on Meridian, which is the community that Ovation's a part of, which you can view here very soon. At number three is Incantera, and this is a community by Shea, and it sits just east of Ovation in Santan Valley. Now, the location's nothing to write home about as it sits just on the edge of civilization in Santan Valley, but it's a bit better than Encore since you have some grocery shopping right around the corner with a Fry's Marketplace. Yes, that's like Fry's Electronics, Fry's Marketplace. Apparently, those two things go together. However, for your retail or clothing stores, you're going to have to hike it to the Queen Creek Marketplace or to everybody's favorite Walmart, which sits about seven and a half miles away. Incantera is a golf club community, so it's got more of a resort feel when you pull into the gates. The gates are guarded by a nice security guard that checks in all the guests. Right when you go in, you'll notice that there's a waterfall feature, there's a bridge, and uh, the golf course. And this pretty much mesmerizes you as you pull into the community. Definitely makes you feel like you're an elite community, and just it, it's just amazing. Now you're gonna get just as much here as the previous two communities with a boatload more. Number one, the pools at the clubhouse really make you feel like you're on vacation. I mean, just look at this view. The best part about it, and what I think is a small detail but very important, if you want to order a beverage to sip on at the pool, you can order from the restaurant, which is on site, and it features a cafe, sit-down restaurant, with outdoor patio seating. It's got a bar to hang out as well after a round of golf. Three to six is happier hour, so enjoy that. 
So that really makes a difference, I think, when you're sitting at the pool, just having the option to go uh, to the restaurant, to the cafe, get a bite to eat or get a drink. And Encantero not only has the one restaurant, it's got two different clubs. And at these clubs are two different restaurants. So the first we've been focusing on features the restaurant. It's a total of 60,000 square feet. It features an indoor fitness area. It's got some social spots inside. Uh, it's got two pools just outside of it. One pool's a lap pool, the other's a play pool. Next to it, they actually have a park with a playground structure, perfect for when the grandchildren visit. And then next to this is four tennis courts. There's also an exercise pool which is located indoors as well. There's also a newer club that opened in the south section of Encantera, and that's called the Algarve Club. Not sure if I'm saying that right. It features pickleball courts, a play pool, another restaurant called Tapas where you can order a nice cocktail poolside or even watch sports from the pool. It's got some bocce ball courts, which I actually stopped at last night and saw a bunch of people out having a great time playing bocce ball. And I actually have one client that closed today, or actually it's closing tomorrow. So we went there yesterday for the final walkthrough. And he's just really excited about this community because it has a ton of events. So he knows that he's gonna be able to hang out with just a ton of people. So coming in at number two is Peoria's Vistancia. This area has a similar feel as it's also a Shea Trilogy neighborhood like in Cantera. It features a golf course upon pulling into the first of two guarded entrances. And you'll see a similar beauty and a similar feel with a lake and a golf course to your right when you pull in. And then when you curve around the entrance, you'll approach the Kiva Club. And this is one of the two clubs in Vistancia. And once again, looks like you're at a fancy resort when you pull up. There's one pool with a spa facing the golf course, along with an extended patio that pretty much features a variety of uh, sitting areas. It's got a lounge area, it's got fire pits. Uh, just a bunch of places to kind of gather and relax at. There's four tennis courts outside along with some bocce ball courts. And indoor, there's a lap pool here as well. I personally attended a wedding here, and let me tell you, the food, the people, the ambiance, phenomenal. I just sat on the back patio and relaxed with a drink and uh, was able to kind of kick back and actually strike up a conversation with, uh, with a few people. It was, it was pretty phenomenal there. The other club here is called the Mita Club. It sits a bit further north, and while it doesn't quite have the bling of the Kiva Club, it's better than most, if not all, community pools that I've seen in the valley. There's also patios to hang out and relax while enjoying the Arizona sun here. And there's a variety of restaurants in this neighborhood. One of them is V's Tap Room, and it actually sits at the entrance of the golf club, which is across the golf course from the Kiva Club. But V's Tap Room specializes in artisan pizzas. It's got some locally craft brews on tap. And there's just an unbelievable kind of indoor-outdoor vibe here. And uh, there's two other cafes that are within this community. And there's one other restaurant, which is called Shallow Well, uh, which probably doesn't have as much golfers hanging out at it. So like the community of Encantera, you can participate in the travel groups. And they pretty much have everything Encantera has. So the reason Vistancia is number two is it's a, it's a little bit further out there. It's got beautiful scenery, however. So when you come off the expressway and you go into Vistancia, you see the rolling hills, and it, it's just absolutely beautiful. It's just more foothills. Um, and, and also one thing that's great here is you have a lot more hiking than any of the other locations. So very easy to get to hiking. And uh, another thing that's great about it is that you have Lake Pleasant that's close by. So if you're a boater, Lake Pleasant is only a half hour away. So really cool. Prices here start in the mid 300s, go all the way up to the lower fives. So a little bit more expensive. The next community and at number one is Victory at Verado. This particular community has been here since 2014 and it sits at the base of the White Tank Mountains. And it's actually part of a bigger community which is called Verado. And it's out in Buckeye. So while it's farther away from other communities, you don't really have to go too far to get what you need at Verado. The community of Verado is fortunate enough to have a heritage district, which is like any Midwestern town with a little downtown section. Basically, it's a small downtown area which features restaurants, grocery stores, some small businesses to serve the residents of the community. You know, you'll have a hair salon down there, other small uh, businesses that you need on a daily basis. And it really gives it that small town charm that you don't see too often in many communities in Arizona. Victory features homes built by multiple builders as well. So you don't just have one person, you have other builders, you have Land C, David Weekly, T.W. Lewis, Lennar, just to name a few. Victory sits in the back of the Verado community, just at the base of the foothills. 
Um, it really provides just a beautiful view upon arriving. And uh, when you drive to the Victory Club, you'll actually sit at about 1,900 to 2,000 feet above the desert floor. And you kind of notice it on your way up there, actually. It's, uh, it's quite the drive up, and it's just a, a beautiful drive. I mean, making that drive every day to go to the club would just be amazing. So you see the amazing views into the community, amazing views into the mountain, into the valley, over the golf club. It's just really phenomenal. So the club features a few private pools, and by private, I mean small play pools. You can make these your own. It also has a lap pool for exercising. The Vic Bar and Kitchen is an award-winning restaurant to get your favorite meal or sip on a cocktail, which you can bring to the pool. So that's kind of nice. The Fitness Center here is a 7,000 square foot uh, facility. It features a life performance training center uh, with the views of the White Tank Mountains. Those are the mountains that are uh, in the background there, White Tank Mountains. So that's sure to keep you motivated as you work out for sure. There's eight pickleball courts and two tennis courts here. And what Victory has done a better job with, I feel, is providing spots for people to just mingle and hang out or meet new friends. For example, you know, there's a sports den, which is like a big man cave where you can just watch football, play pool, you know, sip on a cocktail. Uh, it has an outdoor patio if you feel like taking a, a break from the, uh, from the fellas or if your team's not winning. And there's also Victory Hall, which is a location for classes and seminars and workshops uh, just to keep honing new skills for its residents and also uh, maybe even help people pick up a hobby or two. Of course, there's the beautiful golf course as well. For those of you that like golf, you're going to love it here. But the reason I chose this as number one is because of the hiking, the views, and the vineyard. That's right, there's a three-acre vineyard that's located here. And every year they have a harvest and crush party. It's not because of the party, it's just because there's a vineyard here. So beyond a cool party, this vineyard serves as the center of wine education and events such as wine tastings, wine making, uh, guest dinners you could bring guests to and just, you know, have a great time. Uh, and of course, the annual party that I spoke of before, the harvest and crush party. All of this really makes Victory a gem of a community and there's something for everyone here. Hey, thanks for watching. For more videos on escaping to Arizona, just click that subscribe button to stay in the loop.